Hi, my name is Gregory and welcome back to the Second Hand Club. In today's video, I want to talk about a very special watch that has a very good value for the money. Let's get into it. So before we go into it, small wrist check. Today I'm wearing the AWC Engineer Limited Edition with a very special green dial. If you don't know this watch, I have made a video about it a few weeks ago. I'm wearing it today for a very specific occasion, which hopefully you will see in a future video. Now, I wanted to do this video today because I got the hand and I was offered the possibility of selling this uh, very special timepiece from a client um, in Canada that sent me this piece because he's just not wearing it. But I think it's incredible value for the money. It's the Blancpain uh, Le Mans Flyback Limited Edition. So before we go and dive into the watch, like usual, I want to show you what the watch comes with. So the watch comes with this beautifully lacquered uh, wood box with the inscription of uh, Blancpain on it. It has a nice smoky finish um, with a nice painting on the side of the box and in the center, uh, definitely a good sized box. Uh, but very well finished. When you open the box, you can see on the wood part, on the upper part, uh, a small inscription with the limited edition, which we're gonna go into it in a minute, and also, also on, the, on the pillowcase. And then uh, when you uh, see and lift the, 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 the box, you can definitely fit a few straps in there. Uh, but yeah, it's a definitely a nice vintage looking wood box uh, there. Then the watch, comes with the uh, small booklet, which basically uh, shows you how to use the watch. Uh, you have a few instructions for different uh, models from the brand, but it's a very uh, basic uh, manual on how to use the watch, which you will need if you uh, look at the rest of the video. Uh, so now let's go uh, into the watch. So this is the Blancpain Flyback Le Mans uh, Limited Edition. The watch is 38 millimeter, so very friendly in proportion, easy to wear, and very versatile. Uh, it has a very slim case. The thickness of the watch is 11.7 millimeter, so it fits very well under the cuffs. Um, you can see here that I'm wearing it on my 7.2 inch wrist, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It has a beautiful vintage feel, absolutely stunning. The dial is rich, but with no nonsense. As you can see here in the close shot, it has a very discreet date window at six o'clock, which you can adjust with the position one on the crown very easily. Overall, what I really like about this watch is the contrast on the dial. So when you move the watch around, you can see uh, the beautiful depth of the uh, dial. You have the rail with the big Arabic numbers, and then you have the center small dial, which basically cuts the three sub dials and gives a lot of life uh, on what's happening inside the watch. Now, the main specificity about this timepiece is that it's equipped with a flyback chronograph. We'll get into the movement in a minute, but the flyback chronograph is basically activated with these pushers at uh, two and four o'clock. The pushers are screwing crowns, basically ma making the watch water resistant to 100 meters. On the side of the case at nine o'clock, you can see that uh, the case is engraved with a Blancpain uh, logo. And so when you turn the watch around, let's talk a little bit about the amazing movement that this watch is coming with. It's an in-house manufactured movement. It's a caliber 1185 from Frédéric Piguet. Uh, it's a chronograph movement designed for Blancpain in the mid 1980s. Uh, it has a power reserve of 40 hours. It beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It's an automatic winding and unidirectional for a greater efficiency in the length of the power reserve. It's a non-hacking second, so it does not stop when uh, you are setting the time. Uh, but it has a very precise vertical clutch engagement system, which explains why there is no jump of the chronograph hand when using the flyback function. Blancpain went all the way in terms of design. I really like how they did the double uh, bezel, making it very art deco, reflecting to the uh, 1980s. Um, and the detailing went all the way. So you have a beautiful luminescent uh, Arabic uh, numbers, but also the, uh, all the way to the hands. Um, the hands are made of gold, same for the chronograph hand, and you have a beautiful red accent to make it a little bit more uh, sporty. This specific model comes on a beautiful alligator uh, red strap and uh, is equipped with a Blancpain red gold pin buckle. Now, in terms of value, this watch is available on our website, thesecondhandclub.com, at $18,000. When you compare it to uh, 
brands and watches that people tend to go for uh, as trends. Um, for $18,000 today, you can get a Hulk or a GMT Master 2 if you're lucky. Now, for that budget, you can also get a fully in-house movement flyback chronograph with a gold case. You can beat that. It's an incredible watch, uh, great value for the money, uh, very collectible, nice vintage look. It's available now. It won't stay long. So if you're interested, feel free to send me an email. My email is in the description below. If you like this review, if you like watches, we are dropping an episode every Sunday at 12 p.m. The giveaway is still going on. We need to reach 100 subscribers before I pick a lucky winner for the travel pouch. I'm really putting a lot of effort uh, in these videos. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Just take a second and subscribe and like this video. It helps a lot. It's free and it means a lot to me. Like I said, we drop an episode every Sunday at 12 p.m. Have a great week and see you in the next episode.